first thing I have to say is I'm very sorry that this horse is not white at this moment. He has been rolling in the sand, he has been he sleeps in his box, so he gets dirty of that too. He's, he lies down in the straw. And perhaps I can zoom in on, on the marks he has. That's not a good zoom. You can see the, the, the pink part on his nose. Um, and that's a bite of this little terrorist. I'll try to zoom a little bit more. Yeah, it's gonna work. You also see a pink ear. <laughs> that's from a block uh, salt thing, vitamins or, or something. I don't know what he does with it, but he has marks on several places of, of that thing. So he's a new, anyway he's using him, let's say he's using him, so I'm very happy that he's really using him. But I want to show you this, this behavior and when I'm around they are always a little bit distracted because it's, it's afternoon and they want to go in the field, they know that I am, I am going, I can do something about it. <clears throat> but come on, give me the behavior please, <laughs> because it's, it's interesting for a video. Um, what I wanted to show you is, is that this behavior he's uh, showing at this moment, not but he will in a second, hanging with his head, his throat on the fence and making spit. And I have been wondering what it is and, and why is he doing this? And I, I'm not sure. He's not a patient uh, who shows that he has pain in his stomach. Most of the time horses who do that are, are, are having a painful stomach. Hey, come on, Kabul, you're spoiling my video. Do the behavior you always do. <laughs> That's, it's always when you want to do something, when, I, when you want to tape something, it doesn't work. Um, but making this spit, hanging over a fence, making spit, uh, most of the time can um, give you a clue that, that there's something wrong with the stomach. Because making extra spit helps the, the sour in the stomach uh, to get less. And he's not going to show me the behavior uh, today. What are solutions when a horse uh, has this, this issue on his stomach? One of the solutions is to give him a lot of food, which we call, in, in Dutch we call it raw, uh, rough food, hay, straw and, and all those kinds of food. They will make spit and they will definitely help the horse to, to get release of the pain. I'm very sorry that he, he showed it in the beginning and then I was zooming in uh, on, on, the, on the scarf. Um, anyway, short movie about trouble with their stomach. Perhaps one thing might be interesting to say, uh, it, it, most of the time it comes out of stress. It's, uh, it's based on stress and you have the difference in between the behavior because there is indeed pain and behavior because it's what we call uh, behavior of, of scarves. Then, then the, the source of the behavior is not there anymore. So the stress is, well, he doesn't look really stressed, does he? Um, the source is gone, but the behavior still co goes on and then so that's what, what, what we talk about on scarf behavior. Perhaps you can see that this little terrorist is really using his teeth and that poor Kabul, who accepts everything of this little guy, is, is always the victim of the needs of the impulses of, um, of this small... Ah, he's going to do it again, he's going to do it again. Hanging with his throat on the fence, you can see he's, he's really hanging, he's really putting his face on the fence. He's listening to me, he's watching me. Can you see? You see the ear? It's pointed towards me, the pink ear <laughs> pointed towards me. Um, and this little Tibor is really horrible. I mean, he's, he's almost eating his legs. You can't see it very, very well because he's small and standing behind the big bull. That's why we call him the terrorist. <laughs> oh, he's such a sweet guy. Yeah, sure. 